Bad fuel, baby. You've had everything happen to you publicly. Yeah. From lawsuits, mm -hmm. um, um, your marriage. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Angela leaves. That's big news. Mm -hmm. Chess hilarious. That's big news. Mm -hmm. And there's no real manual on how to deal with this shit. How the fuck you deal with this? Now, honestly, yeah. do you but, have to throw your phone somewhere or just? Nah, you, you, you know what the, you, you got to think. And this is, and people always say this shit. You got to think. I've been with my wife since 15, 16. Yeah. You, you know said, what I mean? I met her in high school. So it's like dealing with the outside noise means nothing. And I know a lot of people say, ah, it's nothing, nothing. And they go in the house and get crazy. But you got to think, I got six kids. This weekend when people were on Instagram and doing this and doing that, I was in my daughter's dance competition Thursday, Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday. She danced from 7 a.m. She won first, pl first prize. You got to think, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been making money for a long time where the money doesn't mean anything to me anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it's not my motivation. My motivation is them kids now. You know, my, my first two kids, Madison and Logan, they kind of got the, the odd end of the stick because I was busting my ass. I was never home. I'm on the tour. I'm, on, I'm DJing for Fabulous. You know, I'm on the road. I'm missing their game. I'm doing this and doing that. But now when I was able to, to make the bread, I'm like, that's never going to happen. I'm at every kid's game. So for me, it's the love of my family. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. So after the time, I, I joke and I laugh about it. Mm -hmm. But I always try to create it so that no matter what happens in my life in the public, I'm always good regardless. I don't have to worry about being canceled or what somebody says or the lie, I have to chase it because I try to create it where I'm good regardless, you know what I mean? And when, that is whatever it is. How does it feel becoming a true leader of this hip hop culture? You know what, it's, it's funny when people, it's funny, when people say, yo, OG or, or something like that, I don't, I don't feel that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I still look up to the, the Jazzy Jeffs and the, and the Kid Capris. So to me, I'm just playing my part. I'm just doing what I do and I love music. I love, like this, is. This thing right here helped me have a career in something I love. You know, my dad is, is a retired police officer. My mother worked at Guardian Life Insurance, and they hated their job. Like, my dad would have to work on Thanksgiving, have to work on Christmas. I remember him coming home and be like, I hate this shit. I remember my mom saying, yo, I hate this. So the fact that I'm DJing and talking about barbershop talk on the radio, it's the best job in the world. Just being honest. So many people have heard your name in the news. Mm -hmm. Forget what's happening. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you have an obligation to restore the, the people's confidence in you? Or is that something you're looking to do? Because there's so much slander. And but you, you got to understand this, and, and you realize a lot when it comes to slander. Mm -hmm. I realized a lot in the last couple of years. One, people don't read. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 they don't. That's people, a people, people don't Yo. read. They read, they, uh, and a lot of people are sheep, meaning they follow what other people say. That's definitely true. Um, I know the truth. Mm -hmm. Some things I can't say until it's over. That's, we understand that. So I just patiently wait. Yeah. But other than that, I, I, I realize who's on your side, who's not on your side, yeah. who you see turning back. So the best thing about everything is you get to see who's on your side and who's not. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get to see what the truth is. And you know, sometimes it's, it, and I'm not saying, because I, I, I fall victim to it sometimes too. You see something in the headlines. Uh, you guys have done it. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> These guys don't read. Yes. <laughs> That's hilarious, fucked up. It, yes, like, let's talk. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, that song got my number. I said, all right, we gonna let them live. And, and what? When I heard it, we just let it sit. Oh, no, no. We the just let it sit. We just, we just chefed it up. We cooked it. And this, that, and the other. I remember my, my peoples called me, and, and, and this is when you said it in, in the podcast. Coming in. My man called me, shout the coat. He's like, yo, what's up? He's like, yo. Da -da -da. I said, you know me and Shorty and Charlemagne is doing a photo shoot right now. He said, what? <laughs> I said, yes. I said, now I don't know why Esther didn't call me, because Esther don't read, but <laughs> he's one of those people that don't read. That, but I, that's I said, not right. true. I got my inside for me. I said on my show, I said, I heard. That was, I don't know who we heard it from. I don't know who we heard it from. He heard it from all the other people that have been yeah. talking shit and lying. But hey, <laughs> you just let it go. But you know, sometimes you just you just let things cook and you know the truth will come out. And when it does, you just you just laugh it off.